to do the process you will need certain things links will be given in the description first of all download OC auxiliary tool and on this page just click on latest here you will find the OC auxiliary tool download the win 64 zip file now download SSDT everything is downloaded now close the browser go to file explorer download folder everything is here now just one by one extract them just select open core and ocat put it to the desktop now right click on desktop and create a new folder put the name of the folder as kext just pull the folder here now put it here and open the kext folder just put side by side like this open lilu folder and just select the lilu.kext put it to this folder then go back then open virtual smc folder go to kext and select virtual smc.kext put it to here go back then open noted raid master now just put the noted red cakes to this folder then select the apple amr report disabler open it and just select the cakes and copy it to the folder go back now open apple alc and select apple alc dot cakes and put it to this folder go back now just open the real tech folder open again go to release and just select it and drag it to the folder copy it go back now just select these two files and put them to the desktop close it now just open the ocat folder and right click on the auxiliary tool and run as administrator click on yes now just click on here new window will open just and then click the get the latest version of open core and it will get started click on ok it is successfully updated and without saving any changes close auxiliary tool now again go to auxiliary tool folder and go to database now go to preset then kernel patch now just select the kernel patch and put it to here now just close this folder and now open open core folder and go to x64 and put the efi folder to desktop now open the efi folder go to oc and acpi folder and now just select the ssdt and put it to this folder now just go back and go to drivers select all and apart from this three files delete all the things now just go back and go to kext folder and now here open the kext folder now just select all the kext and put it to the kext folder open open core file and go to docs and here you will find a sample plist just right click on it and copy close the folder go back go to oc and just paste it here now right click on the sample and select to rename put the name as config dot list and now again open the ocat folder and go to ocat now right click on it open run as administrator click on yes now click on file click on open and just go to desktop folder and efi oc and config dot list now just select everything and clean them go to delete clean them again go to add now just click on the plus button and go to acpi folder and select the ssd time if you are using gigabyte b650 or gigabyte b650 or asrock b650 buggy motherboards then you will need to add some entries in the patch section now go to the booter tab and select everything and clean all the free entries now just go to quicks and just set the universal tracks after setting up the following parameters move to the dp tab and proceed with the cleaning the entries and after cleaning move to kernel tab now just select all the tabs and clean them now just go to add and click on the plus button and go to the desktop folder and efi oc and cakes first of all select lilu and select the folder then again click on plus select folder again plus now after adding the entries go to patch section now just click on the equal option and just click on patches fee list click on add now close it now scroll the right side come to the replace section and select the number four point now you will have to modify the core count as per your system mine is ryzen 5600g that means six core put your core count as per the parameters now if your targeted hardware consists dx40 motherboard make sure to disable this kernel if your motherboard consists of inbuilt thunderbolt then you will need to enable this patch after making the changes go to the emulator section now enable dummy power management setting now again go to quick section make changes as per the parameters as required after making changes move to the misc tab and now proceed with cleaning of the entries now here unchecked hide auxiliary option move to the debug and here check the following options now go to the security section 
allow set default option and here from the drop down select optional on the scan policy set 0 now go to the nvram tab select the last entry and delete the first entry now delete the value of fifth entry and just go to this double tab now just put here the parameters as you required now just make changes here after making changes in nvram tab move to pi tab now just here choose an appropriate system product as i am using ryzen 5 600g and with integrated graphics then i will choose a mac 20.1 now just click on generate if you are using dell or sony targeted hardware then just choose it as custom otherwise leave it now go to ufi tab and now proceed with cleaning up the previous entries now here a main and main date and main version here you will have to choose an older date as for the following parameters if you are using older version of mac os now move to the driver section now just click on the plus button and go to the oc folder and go to drivers select everything and just click on open now just rearrange them okay then these all are rearranged under the load section uncheck the two options now just move to the quick section and here set as according now just click on this validity icon after doing all the changes close the oc auxiliary tool and now this time click on save now just go to the efi folder go to oc if an old config is exist just delete it now again open the ocat folder go to ocat 64 and just right click on the oc auxiliary tool run as administrator click on yes now again click on open and go to desktop efi oc and select the config.fee list now just again verify it ok it is done it is completed now just close it now just plug your mac os into a bootable pen drive and put the efi folder to the usb and now you are good to go to install the mac os on a more venture